You think hacking is difficult, huh? Look at this guy, how he scoops in his dessert clean into his mouth. There you go, buddy. If he can do that, so can you start hacking. So stop complaining and let's begin. So if you don't know what we are doing, let me recap. We are going on this quest of solving CTFs and by doing that, we are learning how to hack and how to be a better hacker and a better human if you are one. So I have already started solving the OAS Ushap challenges. If you are not aware and you want to know more, I have pasted a link to complete playlist that we are creating for this channel, which has all of the details about OAS Ushap challenge by challenge. So once that's out of the way, let's begin solving the challenge, shall we? In this video, we'll solve the API only accesses challenge. For solving that, we need to do few things first. The first thing is to find the API calls. Once we find the API calls, we'll then find a way to scoop in the iframe code that is provided from the backend or the scoreboard to us by the OS Shop. The way this guy scooped in his dessert into his mouth. As this challenge clearly states that we cannot use front end for this challenge. Now let's begin. So this is the challenge API only XSS. And this is the iframe we need to scope in into the API. The first thing would be to log in as administrator. To log in as administrator, we need to perform SQL injection. And that would be single quote or one equal to one dash dash and enter anything in the password. If you don't know what this is or what SQL injection is, I have pasted the link to a video down in the description which explains all about the SQL injection. What is it and how to perform it? But for this, we'll just log in as administrator and we'll scoop around here in this. Now, in order to verify that indeed we are logged in as administrator, let's just leave a review real quick. So I'll come over to burp and below we have this request slash products six slash reviews. I'll send this to repeater and copy this bearer token. Now I have this tab, JSON Web Tokens. If you don't see it right over here, you can come over to the extensions. In extensions, you can scroll down where you will find JSON Web Tokens. So for me, it's saying reinstall because I have already installed it. But for you, it will just say install. And you can click on that. Once it gets installed, you can see it right over here. So I'll paste in what I have copied from right over here from the repeater and then see that we have all of the data related to it. Now here you can see all of the details about the user you are logged in with, like his email address, which is admin at juice-sh.op and his role, which is admin. Now that we verified that we are logged in with admin account, we can then perform the XSS API only attack. Now I'll come over to the front end of the application. The first thing, as I said previously in my video, was to find the API call. So for that, I'll come over to the inspector, which is right click and then click on inspect or press the control F12 on your keyboard. Once I come over to the inspector, I'll click on network. And if you're following my previous videos, you will know that we have a main.js file in the OSG shop, which is responsible for all of the routes and everything. So I'll copy the URL of main.js and come back over to a new tab, paste that in search for slash API slash products and here you go i'll copy this come back over to burp remove this request and paste that api slash products and send the request and see what happens you can see that we are getting the request as okay and we are getting the data it's returning all of the products that was Shop has let's see if we can copy the id and paste that in in front of the products and see if it returns a single product. Now, if I send the request, you would see that indeed it returns a single product once we try out the single ID with it. Now, I'll copy up all of this and paste it below in the request. We are scooping in the iframe, so I think the description would be okay for that. So we can remove everything else and just leave the description behind. In order to check what kind of request does this API supports, we can say options and then send the request. And you can see it supports get, put, patch, post, and delete. What we want is a put request because we are inserting the data. We need to change this description. 
so we can see like and subscribe right over here and let's send the request and see what happens so you can see the description didn't got changed is because we need to specify like we are sending the JSON data right over here but we haven't specified to this endpoint that we are sending the JSON data in order to specify that we are indeed sending the JSON data we can say content dash type application slash JSON and now if I send the request you would see that the description got changed even if I come over to the front end reload the page click on the orange what was it lemon juice yeah right over here you can see that the description of it got changed now we need to scoop in the iframe so I'll come over to the scoreboard and copy the iframe from right over here paste that in inside the description and try and send the request again so I, it returned an error and it's because we have started a string with a double quotes which gets ended right over here with this double quotes so in order to escape that we can add a slash in front of it or we can convert this double quote to a single quote and that will resolve this, the problem now if I send the request you can see that the challenge got resolved which was you have successfully solved the API XSS uh, challenge without using the front-end application at all so now in order to recap what we did was we logged in as administrator to the OSG shop after that we verified with this JSON web token tab that indeed we are logged in with the administrator account we opened up the main.js and we figure out that we have an API by the name of API slash products and after that we came over to the repeater performed some tests figured out what kind of methods does this endpoint support which was delete port post fetch etc and after that we figured out that we can change the description we added the content type application slash json and that was pretty much it for the video and for the challenge to resolve so have a pleasant day bye for now and i will see you in the next one